Hey V Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, aka Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining us. If you've been here before, you're already a member of the family and you know the drill. So today I want to talk about all the things you should totally be hating about 4C hair. Like I don't understand why it's just so big and it can do so many things. If you guys go on my Instagram, you can see all of the things my hair can do. I don't know who told it to be be an extra like that, whatever. But we'll get more into that when we progress to the actual meeting of this video before we get there of course i have to remind you guys to do the four simple things i always remind you to do so please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so youtube knows that you enjoy this type of content be sure to comment down below let me know what you hate about 4c hair be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones and anybody who's hating on 4c hair and last but certainly not least be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time i post a new video if you haven't subscribed i'm gonna give you a moment to do that right now <laughs> subscribe you are okay let's get right into it Because it's so highly textured, unstretched 4C hair tends towards incredible volume. Even stretched 4C hair gives the appearance of a lot of volume. Now a lot of 4C naturals have very dense hair, but even if you don't, because your hair is super kinky, it's gonna be looking extra dense, girl. So like, ugh, that must be so stressful though. Why would you want your hair to look super dense? Don't you just hate it? Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> but on some serious-ish, 4C hair gives the appearance of extreme density, which is something in the natural community that is very very much envy and something that a lot of other hair types cannot necessarily mimic you can twist it you can curl it you can straighten it you name it it can literally do pretty much anything it's so versatile but i really don't understand why anyone would want hair that's that versatile oh my goodness because it's the kinkiest hair type you can stretch it to anything it can mimic any other curl pattern loosening a kink or a coil is far easier than trying to mimic one so if you have 4c hair you can literally do any and any and any and everything <laughs> hair shrinkage is completely insane i mean really who goes from an extremely shrunken fro to waist length hair in a matter of moments it's only 40 people like i've never seen anything like it and sure shrinkage makes tangling a huge pain in the butt but <laughs> you can literally do anything with hair that shrinks that much you can wear it shrunken you can wear it stretched you can wear it semi-stretched you can wear it straight literally any and everything it's absolutely insane and like i said i don't don't know why anyone would want hair that can be so versatile. I don't get it. A lot of people have every other hair type, but very few women have true 4C hair. True 4C hair is extremely unique. And if you have really long, really luscious, really dense 4C hair, it's literally gonna grab all the attention of every Tom, Dick, and Harry around you. <laughs> You'll not be able to walk outside without people staring, without people wanting to touch, without people coming up and asking you questions. Oh my goodness, it's unbearable. <gasps> oh, I hate it so much. First of all, I never asked my hair to be extremely good at protecting me from the harsh UV rays of the sun. Because 4C hair grows up and out as opposed to down, it's really, really great at protecting individuals from the sun and from other harsh elements. Not only that, but it also absorbs a ton of sweat. Because it absorbs so much sweat, it keeps the head very cool in super hot environments. However, if I wanted my hair to be absorbing sweat, I mean, I wouldn't. I would just get a sweatband. I didn't ask it to do all of that. <laughs> and as far as the sun protection goes, I could literally just use some sunscreen girl or guy, or I could use a hat. Like really, I mean, 4 hair just does the absolute most. <sighs> Because of 4C hair's ability to take on any shape, protective styles tend to last for an extremely long time. Your braids are gonna stay really neat, your twists are going to stay nice and tightly coiled without any fear of really uncoiling, and your protective styles are just gonna be real bomb. That's just the bottom line. <laughs> now why is that, you may ask? Let me explain to you with a very simple illustration. So basically, when your hair is wet, the hydrogen bonds that hold the keratin together become a bit more malleable, and your hair can be fluid and 
and be moving about. That's why hair tends to take on a completely different shape when it's wet. When it dries, it reforms into whatever shape it's put in. So if it's in braids or if it's in twists, it's going to take on that shape. If it's in a protective style, it's going to take on that shape. If it's just left to do its thing, it's gonna go back to its natural state, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> when your hair is in a protective style, it's a forcey natural, you can expect super, super, duper, duper snatched braids, snatched twists, and snatched protective styles in general. For the less tightly coily naturals, your looser curls, your 3C gals and guys, things are a bit more complex. And because the hair tends to be looser than whatever protective style it's put in, it gets frizzy a lot more quickly. Now, I mean, I can't say I dislike this about 4C hair, but at the same time, why would you want your protective style to be lasting you forever? I mean, you paid so much money for it. Don't you wanna pay more money to get another one? Of course you do. So yeah, whatever, moving on to the next one. You, yes you, my beloved viewer, sitting there watching this video. Have you ever tried to lock your hair? You have? Yes, I know it's really difficult, but if you have 4C hair, it's so much easier because that is actually the natural tendency of super kinky hair. If you leave your 4C hair to be, it's literally gonna lock up. So girl or guy, if you've been trying to get locked, rest assured if your hair is super kinky, that process is going to be extremely easy for you. <laughs> freeform locks are a thing. And even if you don't want freeform locks, you can still, you know, start locks the normal way with twists or actually by locking your hair with super deep parts, whether they're sister locks, large locks, any shade in between, it's going to be extremely successful simply because you have really kinky, forcey hair that already wants to lock up whether it likes it or not. So, <laughs> for those of you that are less tightly curly, it's typically a bit more challenging for you to actually attempt to lock your hair simply because the natural tendency of looser curls is to just go back to being those looser curls. However, the curlier your hair, the kinkier your hair, the more likely it is to lock. And if you have 4C hair, again, that's the holy grail of forming locks. The natural inclination of 4C hair is to turn into a humongous <laughs> Bro, obviously. <laughs> now, you guys, 4C hair is literally so versatile. I know we've said this like 40 bazillion million times. If you do perm rod sets, bantu knots, straw sets, it can take on all those shapes really effectively. And because of how most 4C hair is textured, it can literally just stand in the most beautiful, curly, coily, kinky fro you could ever dream of. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible, but also really ridiculous because I did not ask my hair to be doing all of that. Ugh. It's so stressful having so many options, my goodness. Most of the time I never know what to do with my hair because there are so many things that I can do with it. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret. If you didn't know already, I'm an extremely lazy natural. I cannot come and be killing myself, though I can be killing them. <laughs> to be doing my hair a million and one different ways. No sway, no boo boo. No falake, uh-uh, girl. So <laughs> I could literally put it in a bun today, put it in some twists tomorrow, put it in some braids the next day. Not nah, boo-boo, that's stressful. Forcey hair, you do too much. That's just the bottom line. People are always asking me questions about my hair because it's so full. A lot of people often don't even believe that it's my hair. And a whole bunch of people are always staring, gasping. They wanna to touch it. It doesn't matter what race. It doesn't matter what gender, what creed. Everyone is really in awe of 4C hair, but my goodness, I did not ask for all of this attention. I don't know why people won't just like leave me alone. So everybody, with these 10 reasons, I'm sure you can see why you should totally be hating on 4C hair. I mean, my goodness. Who told 4C hair to have the audacity to be so perfect? <laughs> but on a serious note, you guys, I'm obviously completely joking. I even had a hard time being sarcastic throughout this video because I'm a very literal person. Literally, there's no reason to hate 4C hair. It's extremely beautiful. It's so versatile and easily one of the most unique hair types on the planet. Actually, not one of, it is the most unique hair type on the planet. If you have 4C hair, wear it proudly. Be happy with it. You are beautiful, trust me. So to you, young man or young woman, 
or other watching just know that you are really really beautiful with your 4c hair thank you guys so much i love you guys i'll see you in the next video don't forget to thumbs up don't forget to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones be sure to comment let me know what you hate about 4c hair once again and let me know what you want to see from me because your girl is back obviously i've been really consistent this year you should be super proud of me and last but not least ever this can never be least i mean you have to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so that we can, you know, have this quality time together every week, twice a week, on a good week. <laughs> Thank you guys once again. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta. Okay,